Ancora. If Obama was elected to the House of Representatives and became Speaker of the House, and Biden and Harris resigned, could Obama become acting president? Well, you may wonder why I'm even bringing this up, and I'm going to tell you in just a moment why. Obama has been elected president twice, so this passage clearly applies to him, but read it carefully. No person shall be elected more than twice. It actually doesn't say anything about succeeding to the presidency from another position, position such as speaker. Also, they said, I think that if a former president tried to do this, there would be a lot of backlash and opposition, and no one would really want to risk it. However, if they actually did it, I think it would be hard to stop because there's no actual basis upon which to stop it. Now, all right, so you're probably wondering, Steve, what in the world are you talking about here and why are you even bringing something like this up, right? Because let's, let's face it, after all, right? Um, I have never even for a moment thought that Barack Hussein Obama would become president of the United States again. And, um, you know, let's just face it, he did serve two terms, and that pretty much puts him out. But he never seems to leave Washington, D.C. And because of the people I know up there, I know he's very actively involved in Biden's administration. They've even thought, talked about internally creating a position so that he could come and fill it so that he would be more actively involved and also give be a better support for Biden and what he's doing right now. Now, Biden doesn't want him in there running the country for himself. And of course, well, I should, shouldn't say that he allows Hillary Clinton to run the country for him. So uh, why not Barack Hussein Obama as well? Who really knows, right? But here's why I bring this subject up. I had the craziest dream a few days ago. Uh, and not only did I have it, but a good friend of mine in Washington, D.C., who happens to have been President Barack Obama's advisor, when I was telling him about the dream I had, he stops me before I even got going. He said, you know, Steve, the craziest thing happened to me a couple of days ago. And when he said this, by the way, that was the exact same day that I had the dream as well. He said, I dreamed that Barack Obama was acting president. I'm like, are you serious? I mean, I didn't even got into it with him. I was just telling him I had a dream about Barack Obama. And he says, well, you know, that's funny. He says, I had one as well. He said, but in my dream, he was acting president of the United States. And he said, I don't know why I had that kind. He said, I don't dream about Obama. Never have. I haven't been thinking about him or anything. He says, but I literally dream that he became acting president of the United States. And he said, it really bucked me. He said, I'm like, you got to be kidding. Why would I have such a dream, Right. Well, I told him, I said, okay, then I don't feel so weird after all. Now, the weird thing is, I remember every detail of this dream. And normally, when you have dreams like that, there's a significance behind it. And because of the fact of my connections to Washington, and knowing that the former advisor to President Barack Hussein Obama also had a very similar dream that I had, I had to tell him the dream. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, now, keep in mind, it doesn't mean that Barack Obama is going to become acting president of the United States. It could have some other significance completely different from that. It could be that he is acting as president of the United States. It may have just been some kind of crazy dream regardless and has no meaning whatsoever. So do keep that in mind as I share this with you. I'm not trying to make anything of it, but I do think it's pretty weird and pretty odd that both myself and the President Obama's former advisor have a very similar dream. And in both cases, we dreamed that Barack Obama had become acting president of the United States. Now, in the dream that I had, it was really weird because I was sitting there talking with Barack Obama. I was literally sitting right across from him and we were having a discussion. I don't even know what the discussion was about. I just know that we were talking about something there. And he looked very much like what he does here in this picture here. And while we were speaking, I noticed something right behind him. It was like something almost stuck up on his collar, but it wasn't actually stuck to him. But it was as if somebody had planted some sort of device that was behind him. And I reached up to remove it because it bothered me that something was there. 
And when I did, it kind of startled him. And it really started to startle the Secret Service because the Secret Service was watching us the entire time. And they were about ready to clobber me once they saw that I went for something near the former president of the United States. And as I did, though, I'm like, listen, it's all right. It's all right. It's just he's got something here. It doesn't belong. And so they calmed down. But a lady comes over to me and I don't know how I knew this, but this lady was like over all of the Secret Service. And she comes up and she takes me over to another little spot here. And Barack Obama was about to go speak in some type of convention or something. And she hands me an envelope. And inside the envelope was a Secret Service badge and some paperwork. And basically, she was hiring me to help the Secret Service to protect him. Don't I don't know. I don't get that. I'm telling you, this is, this is about as nutty as it can get, right? And... And so she, then she tells me though, this is what really got me. You know, I mean, I could describe the details of this lady. You know, I would say she was a lady probably anywhere from mid fifties to early sixties. Uh, she had about shoulder length hair, kind of a grayish kind of color. She was, uh, maybe the color was to kind of give me an idea of her age. And, um, but I remember her when she gave this to me and all I can tell you is in the dream, it was indicated that they needed me to help protect him. But she did say one thing in particular. And that's what really bugged me as well. She said, you are authorized to use lethal force to protect him. And then I came out of the dream. It was early in the morning and I came right out of the dream. I'm like, what in the world kind of dream is that? So... And the only reason I even said anything to the friend that I have there in Washington was because of the fact of this lady and what she did. And so I was asking him, who's over the, who's, what, who's over the actual uh, Secret Service right now? And he says, well, they're always changing, you know, whoever's in charge of Secret Service. He says, I don't even know. He said, I don't know if it's a woman or not. I said, I really don't, don't even have any clue right now, uh, you know. But, but the idea that he had had a dream the exact same day that I had it was just mind-blowing. Anyway, I know it's kind of nutty, kind of out there. Um, listen, I'm, I'm going to be updating you guys again tomorrow, uh, hopefully uh, sometime tomorrow by lunchtime there, about the situation in Ukraine. Uh, I am discovering things on a regular basis. I'm doing a lot of research on that as well. Uh, also, um, Elizabeth uh, who works with us there has been is working on a little documentary piece there. We normally share that on iConnectFX.com about Nemesis, about Planet X, uh, and you know. So I, I also want to go into that some issues on that as well. Normally I speak about those things on Patreon, uh, but I may end up doing an update for you guys here on Israeli News Live as well. But I will tell you, and and I've been told this continually the situation with Europe is going to become very volatile over the next three months. Very volatile. Uh, there is discussions. Uh, I already know there's plans. NATO is going after Belarus. Um, the situation is very dire. So pray for the people there and please remember them. Um, by all means, please remember them. And I'm actually wanting to speak to you guys over on the Noon Institute from the book of Hebrews. And specifically, uh, there's something on my heart I'm wanting to share with you guys. And, and just to kind of give you a little idea where I'm going to be going at is repentance from dead works. I want to talk to you guys there about on the Noon Institute. Something that caught my, my thought on that as I was... Uh, studying over the book of Hebrews today. So I'm hoping to share some of those insights with you there. Maybe I can do that tomorrow. It's not a very long message. And I've also got a message I'm wanting to do to speak to brothers as well over on the Institute to try to help and encourage you guys as well. And it may be great for the sisters as well um, to better understand uh, things that are going on. And it's a spiritual warfare uh, message I want to speak about. So anyway, I hope you guys will be able to join on that. And uh, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for those of you that are joining our, our Patreon channel there. Uh, I'll include the links in the description below because I'll be sharing more information over on Patreon again here over the next couple of days. God bless you. 
Have a great evening.